Hey guys, back again with another video. This is my Raspberry Pi Retro Pi build. The kit comes with the Raspberry Pi 3, a clear case, a micro SD card, a power supply, and an HDMI cable. off you're going to need four things that you need to download off of the internet in order to complete the first portion of this build you'll need 7-zip which is basically just like WinZip but I guess it, it works a little bit better uh, I saw it in a previous video and I utilized it it worked beautiful uh, SD card formatter to format your card in the proper format so that you can load the RetroPie onto it. Um, you'll need the Win32 disk imager. This is going to actually write the RetroPie to the, your disk. And of course you need an image of RetroPie. I use, utilize the latest RetroPie image, which is 3.8. As you can see here, I went to Google and just did a search on 7-Zip and it took me right to the download screen. I was able to download the software and then I always right click on the actual file and run as administrator. If you got UAC turned off in Windows, technically you don't have to do that, but I do it anyway, just as force of habit. Once you've extracted that, you can uh, go to SD card formatter. Uh, as soon as I did a Google search, it was like one of the top searches. And I clicked on the Windows download for that program and then agreed to the license, which it, it splashes right to the license agreement in the front and accepted that. Once I downloaded that software, I went and found it in my downloads folder. My computer sometimes takes a little while to refresh, so I uh, waited for it to show up and then right clicked once again. And this time I went into the 7-zip, which is in the menu uh, for extracting compressed files, and then went to extract uh, two and picked the name of the folder that was listed there. I find that easier to find stuff in my directory later. Now I downloaded the Win32 disk imager uh, from uh, sourceforge.net. Um, you know, these websites sometimes scare me, you know, I, I'm unsure if it's going to link me to another program. So I was kind of tentative to just click on download without confirming that I was in the right spot. I uh, scrolled down to the bottom just to see if there was an actual download download because, you know, you can get viruses or any funky stuff off of the Internet really easy if you don't pay close attention to what you're clicking on. So just as good measure, I uh, clicked on the Win32 link that said go to the web page just to make sure that the icon and everything looked exactly the same. Then I clicked on it. And uh, of course, me being me, I was impatient, didn't wait for the actual download to begin. And uh, you know, just as uh, a cautionary tale, just don't just click and click and click because you probably download it like three or four times. I, I gave it a, a few seconds and then I decided to click on the uh, download on the project again uh, because on the top left hand corner you can notice that my tab was still spinning waiting to actually take that download. 
Eventually, I got it to take the download though. downloaded I right-clicked and launched as administrator once again and uh, went through the normal installation dance of next and I agree and next uh, then uh, you just pick the location in which you want it to go and I always create the uh, icon on the shortcut uh, of the desktop it just makes it easier for me then I uncheck my mark the actual uh, launching of it because I don't need it yet because I haven't downloaded the Raspberry Pi. Downloading the RetroPie image, I extracted it with the 7-zip and put it in its own folder so I could find it easily later. Now you have to make sure that you have your SD card put in either through the USB or if you have an SD card reader connected to your computer. Once you do that, confirm the location. Mine was on the F drive and then launch your SD uh, formatter program and type in a volume name. I just used RetroPie to make it easy. Now, if you noticed, I put RetroPie in upper and lower case it's going to actually change to all uppercase when it's complete. Um, that's just something that the program automatically does and it doesn't matter whether you put it in upper or lower case. It will change it all to uppercase. Um, the Win32 Disk Imager program and launched it. And it is now asking me for where the image is. I click on the folder and find my folder that has the image and select open. I confirm that the F drive is selected on the right hand side. This could take a minute or so to you know load into the image file screen but as long as it's loaded there, you can click right and begin to write the image to your SD card. Through the magic of video editing, it actually installed a lot quicker than it really did. I kind of skipped ahead. It took like maybe like a few minutes to actually install to the SD card. Once you're complete, you just click exit and that is it. That portion of the build is done. I've got a valid RetroPie uh, software on my SD card. And now all I need to do is put the RetroPie together with all the parts I got off of eBay and boot it for the first time with a monitor on it. And of course a joystick and or a USB keyboard and test to see if it runs correctly. Once that's done, uh, I can download games, but that's in going to be in my next video. Uh, so keep watching and subscribe if you want to see 
that portion of the build.